Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here. And in this movie review, this review is going to be on the 2018 movie, Can You Ever Forgive Me? Can You Ever Forgive Me stars Melissa McCarthy as, as she plays an author named Lee Ezreal. Lee Ezreal is a frustrated, hard-drinking author who, who can barely afford to pay her rent or bills in, in 1990s New York. Desperate for money, Lee Israel soon hatches a, a, a scheme to, to, to forge letters by, by, fam by famous writers and, to, and sell them to bookstores and collectors. When the dealers start to catch on, Lee Israel recruits a, a, recruits a friend to, to help her continue her, her self-destructive cycle of trickery and deceit. And, yeah. So... This movie first came out in 2018, and I actually I actually rented on Amazon, like not long ago, like like recently. And I gotta say, this was actually a really well done, a really a very well done movie. Yeah, this movie was amazing, and it was fantastic too. <coughs> Pardon me. And and the more I think about it, I gotta say, can you ever forgive me? Is actually one of the most underrated films that came out in 2018. And I gotta say, this this is actually one of Melissa McCarthy's best roles that she's ever done. Because I think Melissa McCarthy's performance as Lee Israel, I think she actually does a great job with the performance. And I gotta say, this was actually one of Melissa McCarthy's most underrated best roles that she's ever done in recent years. Jane Curtin was also in the film too. She, I think she only appeared at the beginning of this film. And Jane Curtin, I thought she did pretty good. And... And yeah, cause and, and I think this movie kind of got I think this movie got got like a few awards like a few award nominations and even like the screenplay too. The screenplay was actually well written and it's like and it's like you're really starting to, and 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 I do like how how the setting of this movie takes place in like the 1990s in New York and it, and it's basically about and, and it basically talks about the topic of bookstores and collectors and like book collectors and famous writers like at libraries and bookstores and. And I and I and I kind of do and I, and I and I do like going to like you know bookstores and libraries like like you know my local library as well as Barnes and Noble because because whenever the book whenever the bookstore scenes are on are on screen it kind of gives me like Barnes and Noble vibes a little bit and library vibes and it's like how the, and I know that this movie is actually is actually pretty it's, it's actually something that 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 I think that I think I, I think that, that that a lot of people that a lot of people are gonna adore. Yeah, because if you support like Alyssa McCarthy, Melissa, Melissa McCarthy's performance in this film, and and yeah, I also liked her in the in the new Little Mermaid as Ursula, and and but like I said, but this this movie, can you ever forgive me? Is actually like one 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 of the, one of Melissa McCarthy's most underrated best roles that she's ever done in recent years. Like I said before, and. And yeah, and and, it, and it's basically how and it's basically how there's also like typewriters that were used in this film, even though even though this movie does take place in the in the nineties, even though it's maybe most typewriters were still used at the time, but it was like around that time when computers and when computers were first invented, and you know it's like, yeah, there there are some typewriters that were featured in this film, like you know like writing like writing letters and like to and like asking like can you ever forgive me, and it's like like the name of the movie, but. The best way I can describe this movie is like, you know, it's like Melissa McCarthy cinema. Like or or should I, or a better way to say that would be like this movie is pure cinema. Yeah. From Fox Searchlight Pictures. So So aside from all that, overall, Can You Ever Forgive Me is a is a well-done movie with Melissa McCarthy and I'm going to give Can You Ever Forgive Me Excuse me four and a half out of five stars like I was gonna give this movie five out of five stars but then I was thinking like this this movie kind of had a little a little a little bit of issues but but nevertheless it was I give this movie four and a half out of five stars yeah and I say I recommend checking out this movie and there you go guys that's gonna be it for my movie review on can you ever forgive me and that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye everybody, and that's about it.